this is Russell Watson, and then I'm Tyler Kao. So question one, do you believe in God? Who is God to you? Uh, I do believe in God. God to me is kind of, I don't know, he's, he's kind of like a being. I don't know too much about him, but it still feels like I'm also familiar with him. Question two, describe your relationship with God. If I had to describe my relationship with God, it would be, I don't know, it's, it's both a personal and a distant one. I've, I've had times in my life where I haven't really felt super close to him, but then there's other times where I felt like he's the closest person to me. So, Question three, describe, your, describe how you pray or connect to God. Huh. Um, so I've, can, I've prayed to God multiple times. It's whenever I'm at like times of like great distress or if I feel uh, some kind of great emotion I feel like I can connect to him very well but there's also it's funny is that other times that I felt like I connected to him are times of song or I guess when like there's a, whenever there's joy within the crowd I felt really close to him. When have you felt closest to God? Have you ever had a profound religious experience like a moment of conversion or reawakening? So I have. Um, there is this camp that I go to every year. It's called Sky Ranch, or I used to go to, and it's kind of this like I don't I don't know what you call. I'd say a Christian camp. I don't know the exact church they're under. I don't think it matters. But what they do there is that we kind of we kind of talk about God. We go over Scripture, and then we also just gather together and pray. And I felt while going to that camp, I felt I guess closest to God. I don't know, I just had, like, a great uh, discovery of myself there. What do you look up to for their relationship with God? A kind of faith hero of sorts could be a parent, a saint, etc. Uh, well, my parents are definitely people that I consider godlike, but if I had to say a person that I really appreciated with their beliefs, I would have to go with one of my old middle school teachers, Mr. Millen. He, he's talked to me about certain things that I need to think about in life. And he said, one of, the, one of the things he talked about is that rather than thinking about the, your own opinion, think about how God thinks of you. And whatever he thinks of you will truly be immortal. So that, kind of, that phrase kind of stuck with me. So. Which Christian tradition or church, not parish, do you belong to? Why do you belong to that church, or why do you not belong to any church? So like Catholic, Lutheran, etc. Um, I'd say I belong to the Episcopal Church because I kind of I went to Holy Spirit Episcopal School for most of my life, like from five to fourteen. So that's where I've spent most of my time, and that's probably where I've gotten most of both my religious knowledge and my my personal experience with God. So if I had to say, I'd fit the Episcopal. So you already kind of answered this question, but did you grow up as a Christian? What do you most remember about your faith? What do you remember about the faith of your parents? Um, so I grew up as Christian, but so it was kind of, I never really noticed it too much. It was more of a casual thing since I went to a Christian school. It wasn't so much, I didn't really understand the importance of it until later on in middle school and into high school. Um, if I had to say it, I just think of it as a daily experience. I didn't truly see like any kind of importance until maybe seventh and eighth grade when we actually truly talked about the importance and significance of it. So, and that kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how else I'd say it. It just changed my worldview, I guess. It kind of showed me that there's more to life than being an astronaut or being a scientist or whatever you want to be. I'd say uh, the faith of my parents. Um, so they're not, I want to say they're strong believers in that they go to church every day, or not every day, or every Sundays, but I do see within them a sort of acknowledgement of a greater power. They, uh, we will attend church on important days, and they've kind of inspired me just by their own actions to try to be a better person and be better disciple of God. What impact has your membership in the church had upon you? Uh, let's see, 
So if we're talking about the Episcopal Church, I have to say that it's kind of made me, it's kind of made me want to be a better person. It's shown me that life isn't just about choosing what you want, it's about choosing what you think God would see within you. So I've kind of had to reflect upon that several times whenever I've made a mistake or whenever someone's done something that I feel that, or I've done something that I feel it can't be forgiven. I have to look back and say there's something greater than that. I think my uh, life has, by my life in the church, or in my church has definitely helped me on that and influenced my decisions. What do you think are your most important obligations as a member of the church? How have you been active in your church, parish council, Bible study, Sunday school teacher, etc.? Have you considered working for your church as a minister or other religious person, nun, priest, deacon, etc.? So, for commitment to the church, I feel like you have, I don't know, so the church that I went to for many years, it wasn't, I felt like the commitment was that you have to attend there every Tuesday and Thursday because that was already a requirement, so I never really thought about it too much. But if I had to say I feel like participating with the church and whatever, like fundraisers and stuff is a high priority because my church was giving that stuff back to the students for those who can afford to go to the school. So it was, I feel like serving the church and attending church are both good because serving it can affect the others around you while attending it can affect your personal relationship with the church, with the body of the church as in the people or with God. And with the idea of being a priest, um, when I came to the school, I, I actually thought about it. Um, I'm not really certain yet if I would choose that, but I had to say, probably not. It, I don't know if I could abide by the rules that it stated and this be in a single location. I don't know, I, I don't know about, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but I'm not sure yet, I guess. Thank you.